two years, four months, 27 days, and seven hours to the dot. My migraines only come in bursts and stabs. After a third of a year, my atrophy and sloth-like slumber has turned my body softer than babe station porn. <laughs> Periodically, my eyesight blurs, and the faces I've loved since I was born become forgotten under a suffocating blanket of dead-minded numbness. My brain is on ice, and the seventh, seventh round of medication makes me crave ice cream more than social interaction. In late October, I didn't sleep for over a week. 257 hours of being awake bakes my mind more than any narcotic could. My friend offered me magic mushrooms a while back. <laughs> After I explained that in these seven days, I came close to peeling off my own skin after I felt rats biting down to my forearm bone, he retracted his offer and instead I had a peppermint tea and his last chocolate hobnob. <laughs> After the hundredth hour, you start to believe you've died. And this room is purgatory, a punishment for being nothing but normal. Dull white walls and bland tasting food forever your companion. I slept for two and a half days once I choked down five sleeping pills and half a pint of whiskey. It didn't kill me and that makes me happy. Because two years later, I've become more than I ever would have expected, experienced more joy and delight than my 18-year-old imagination could have anticipated. The light at the end of the tunnel is cliched for a reason, because it's true. And I'm ever grateful for that fact. Two years, four months, 27 days, and seven and a half hours since I thought I'd die. But I didn't, and I'm alive. <laughs>